Hello, Alpha Spiral here, back with uh, another very um, an another one of my very scarce uploads because um, I upload like once or twice a month. Um, today uh, it, we are doing a redstone tutorial, and um, it is a, a dog contraption, as you can see by these doggos in here. This tutorial wouldn't exist um, um, if I didn't put the, my like demonstration video of this on on Reddit, uh, just showing how it works. And uh, it got quite a few upvotes and people asking for tutorial, so uh, here it is. Now the way this works is uh, you you put a dog on here, or you like shuffle them over, and uh, you press this button, and it goes down the hatch. And you think you think it's dead, but it's not. It gets pulled into the wall, pushed across into a stream of water, and into here. And then the hatch closes up behind them, and he's safe and sound in this little bit here. Now the dog I showed in the video uh, was actually tamed. It had a uh, had a collar on, and it was sitting down. And uh, I think one of the comments was saying uh, that it was a different dog, and it, it wasn't. Dogs uh, actually stand up in water. So uh, if I, if I demonstrate here, I'm typing comment into the search bar. Uh, if I grab a wolf, which I have, so I shouldn't do that. Uh, if I, if I get bones, and put them here. There we go. And then if we push him onto uh, here, he gets to put down. I shouldn't say that with dogs. It's pulled across into the stream and he stands up as soon as he goes in the stream. And through there. And there we go. Now I know what you're thinking. Uh, if I walk away, he's going to uh, teleport to me. And you're right. But, um, I, 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 you, you can do this, I guess, you can, uh, what's that? Now you can just have a door, like, leading off the side. You, you could just, uh, lead your dogs into here, but, um, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's boring, isn't it? Right, now the bit that no one has seen except me, um, let's look at the redstone for this. Uh, if we go to this door for no reason, rather than flying over it, um, here is the the redstone. It's uh, it's it's definitely not as compact as it uh, could be, and it's very pissed and heavy, which makes it sound quite cool. But um, yeah, it means you need, need a lot of pistons and quite a bit of iron, and also the cauldrons as well. Uh, yeah, this 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 could be optimized to uh, be smaller, which is what I've done behind me here with this uh, yellow design. Which is it, it, it works pretty much the same. Um, the only difference is, is this is independent from the rest of it. But apart from that, it's literally identical. Oh yeah, and also this um, the, they, the dogs get shot higher, so you probably need a taller wall. Um, uh, but yeah, this is more uh, resource friendly. Uh, I mean, it requires a lot more observers. So if you go into the Never, then. This, this shouldn't cost you too much and yeah not, not as many pistons in this design because in this design there was a uh, I mean you, there was a cauldron to activate the whole thing uh, and also there was some pistons here to pull that back because I was experimenting at the time in here it's just uh, one block that's pulled back uh, away from the ground but yeah this design is a lot smaller than uh, the other one and it's the design that I'm going to be teaching how you how to uh, how to build in this tutorial. Now just to prove that it works, uh just got a door on here. Gets pulled back into the wall, push into the water stream. The water stream is a bit different from the other one. Also uh, another benefit with this design is uh, the whole wall pretty much I mean this 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 works this bit. Uh, the whole wall is unescapable, while the other one had redstone running along it here. Uh, I put the glass here to kind of like help prevent them, the, uh, the dogs escaping, but it had redstone here where dogs could like get out and walk over, which it didn't happen most of the time, but uh, it could happen. So that kind of prevents that from happening, which is quite good. Now one other um, small benefit of the new yellow wall design is that it works with um, with puppies as well, rather than just uh, full grown wolves. So if we put one down here, there we go.
Right, so as I was saying, this works with puppies too. So if we push this puppy onto the, uh, uh, no. There we go. As you can see, um, he, he made it all the way through, and all he has to do now is just walk out. Now, the other design, uh, I, I, I don't think it works for puppies. If, if we get a puppy. Ah, oh, look, he teleported. Right, so, if we push him onto here. As you can see, it doesn't work for puppies. And let's just try that again, just to make sure it doesn't. There you go. Now, this also, I think, works with pigs and chickens. I've tested quite a few other mobs and it doesn't seem to work. But um, the other one works with pigs and chickens. Um, and if this one works with puppies, then I, I, it'll probably work with more mobs. I tried cats on the other one and it didn't seem to work, so we'll just try them here. There we go, it works with kittens. Right, let's try a pig. Well, that that's... Uh... Right, one thing to address uh, in the design, you might, you might want to have a look here. So if I don't mention that in the tutorial, uh, you should probably do that. Right, you've seen the, uh, the contraption working, now let's get on with this tutorial. Right, okay, so for this build you are going to need um, probably about two stacks of um, just just like blocks to build the actual like framework of construction with, uh, a handful of blocks for the, um, the wall of it, um, a handful of blocks for the floor, um, one bit of sand, nine redstone torches, three redstone comparators, 13 redstone observers, two hoppers, three droppers, stone pressure plate, um, an oak button, 17 repeaters, 10 sticky pistons, two regular pistons, four blocks of obsidian, two redstone blocks, 19 redstone dust, and a slime block. You're also going to need a water bucket to uh, fill up the, 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 the stream here. Okay guys, so for the redstone circuitry itself, this does not include the uh, kind of aesthetics of it. Um, but yeah, for the redstone itself, you're going to need a 5 by 11 um, rectangle, if you will. Okay, so to start this build, you're going to want to grab your um, redstone kind of base material, if you will, and place it just like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And next you're going to want to grab your redstone and put a piece of redstone down here, a repeater here on four ticks, uh, another piece of redstone dust down here, and another repeater here on four ticks. Next you're going to want to uh, raise these blocks up, so just put a block there, I didn't mean to do that, one second. And raise this block up as well. Now here, you're going to want to remove this block and put a sticky piston facing upwards with a piece of uh, wall or whatever on top. Next you're going to want to uh, place a temporary block here, place a sticky piston on top of that, then grab your slime block and place that on top of there like so. Then you can remove this block. Okay so after you've placed your slime block we're going to um, create a short funnel so that the dogs can't escape when they go into this uh, go into this bit of slime. So place four obsidian or any immovable objects like glazed terracotta for example around the uh, slime like so. And then grab a wall block and place it here. Okay so after that you want to grab a uh, block of redstone. I, I, I call them redstone blocks, so uh, yeah, you're going to place that there and then um, come up like this and you're going to want to place a sticky piston facing downwards like so. Next place a piece of wall here and two bits of wall up here and then place redstone dust here, here and here 
with a repeater here on one tick delay. Right now next, we're going to do our button input. So grab um, a fancy looking block, I like to use logs to put my buttons on personally. Right, so next you're going to want to come out to here and place your button block here. Um, then place a redstone torch on the side, like so. And yeah, that, that powers that. Um, and then you want to grab a button and make sure it's an oak button or any wooden button to be fair but make sure it's a wooden button not a stone one because stone ones have shorter pulses and place that there next you want to swing around here and very carefully on the side of this redstone place a sticky piston and this will be where the dog uh, drops down so um, this is our floor um, of course because the buttons there so grab your floor material, I'm going to be using uh, grass once again um, and just put that there. Next you're going to want to place uh, five bits of wall in a kind of L shape coming off here so one, two, three, four, five like so. Next you want to grab uh, some more repeaters and place one here on four ticks and another one here on four ticks. Next, place the piece of redstone dust here and raise up these two blocks. So, one up, one up, delete those two. Then, grab a redstone torch and place it on here. Then, we're going to place a line of four blocks on top of that. So, one, two, three, four. Then, bring this one up, delete that block, and place three bits of redstone dust on top like that. Then, coming off of this middle bit of redstone here, place a block and then a block going up here, then place a repeater here on one tick. Next you want to swoop around here and place a block there with a repeater on four ticks and then you want to place a block up here like that with a sticky piston on top like so. Next come under here and place a block on top like that, um, put another one here, um, two repeaters on here, or both on four ticks, then very carefully place a sticky piston like that with a block of redstone on top. Next let's grab our observers and place one here like that, one on top like that and then one above it like this. And then we can place another one over here as well in the same kind of orientation. And then also another one on top like that. Next, come down here and place a line of six blocks like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then place a torch, two repeaters on four ticks, and then a block in um, that's been raised, um, and then a bit of redstone dust on there, and then we can raise a block up like this. Next, uh, go to your redstone torches, um, put one on top like that, and then place one on top like this, and that should turn off. We can then continue to uh, heighten this area by placing another block on top, a sticky, actually no, we don't need a sticky piston, do we? A regular piston on the side, and then a block of sand on top like that. Next, let's work on our um, independent like exit for the dogs. So you want to count along five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, remove these three. Then place a piece of redstone dust on here, a repeater on four ticks, um, block here temporarily, sticky piston there, your exit block of choice there, and then a block on here with your stone pressure plate, uh, I guess it can be wooden of course, um, and then a redstone torch on the side like that and that should power, and then when you step on it, you can escape. Okay, so then coming off of this block, you place a torch, then place a repeater on four ticks going back into this, and then um, you're going to want to kind of change the orientation of this because I, um, I I may have put the, the, the observer in the wrong place, so I, I, I deeply apologize. So you're going to want to remove this observer here and place it here instead, like so. And then you should have a nice uh, zigzag of observers. Okay, so next place a block here on the side of this observer, then a redstone torch on top, then another block there, and a repeater on four ticks. 
and then place a block up like this with a piece of dust on top. Now we're going to move to our um, hopper dropper mechanism. So next take your three droppers and your hopper and place them like so. So one facing up like the observer next to it, one facing this way and we want one facing into this one so we can build out there and put one right there and then we can just run a hopper down into here next come down here and um, place a comparator facing outwards like this and then just a block right there and then that'll power this uh, redstone block to go upwards right okay now we can start putting in more observers so um, what we want to do is put an observer up here like this and then another one on top and then one facing sideways and then one facing upwards like so. Also on top of this comparator that we placed just a little while ago you're going to want to place three more observers on top like this. There is also one more observer that we have to place facing this way to kind of make a, a P shape of observers. It's quite a nice pattern actually. Next placed a um, re regular piston right here and then three bits of, well just three regular blocks in an L shape like so. Then come down one over here, place a block a bit lower and then place a piece of redstone dust like so. Next you're going to want to drop down one right here and place a repeater on a one tick delay then place two sticky pistons, one directly in front of that repeater and then one just above there and then place your wall blocks um, in front of them. Next we're going to add in some more blocks, so place three blocks here, one, two, three and then a line of blocks going from here all the way down to here, like so. Next place redstone here and in an L shaped here, then grab a repeater and put it on 4 ticks here. Then get a redstone comparator, place one here and place one here with a piece of redstone dust there and then set them both to negative. And then unset them from negative because uh, you, you don't need to do that. Also this repeater should be on 2 ticks, not, uh, not 4, I, I, I'm sorry. Then place a torch here and a repeater on a 4 tick delay and that should activate what will be our, uh, our door. So here will be our wall and uh, yeah, then we can just fill in the wall going down to here on this strip just to uh, just, just for reference. Okay next come down to the dropper here and place in an item here in um, the dropper that's facing to the comparator. Next come over here and place a sticky piston coming over here and it should activate. Then you can place your wall block on it and then we can build the uh, build between the gap in between. Okay next after you've built, this, uh, it built the gap in between this wall um, you're going to want to place two blocks on the observers, one here and one here and that will make sure that the droppers get activated. And after you've done that, that should be everything for the redstone of this build. And it actually looks a lot simpler. Well, not not simpler. Actually, it's actually a lot barer than I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought I thought it was very square and compact. But that's kind of because I masked it in wool. And uh, you you have to do that. You have to cover it in wool because you don't want dogs escaping, and you want a path for the dogs to go down. So next, we're going to work on the path. So to build your path, it's very simple. Um, above this redstone torch here, place a block of wall or whatever um, and then just build it across so place a block here and just run a line going across there. Next we're going to want to cover up the circuitry because water damages redstone um, of course so just fill in all the gaps across here very carefully. And then the extra bit that I discovered in my um, explanation of the door. Grab a piece of glass, or I mean any block should work, but glass just it, it lets light through. It's nice, isn't it? And just place a glass block here, 
and that will prevent the dogs from just jumping out on the occasion that their code tells them to stop doing stuff. Okay, and then we can fill in the rest of it, I guess. So we can build a wall going around here, and we don't have to worry about a gap there, of course. Now to demonstrate this all working, I'm going to put a glass window here so you can actually see the dogs for once. Once you've fully completed your wall, and it's definitely watertight, this is fine. As long as you don't, I don't know, I'm not going to risk trying to waterlog it, I don't know if you can. But once everything is watertight, then just place a water bucket down here. And that should flow to the end. And that should be all the functions and all the redstone and aesthetics and everything completed. So we can grab our dog, just place him down. But yes, as you can see, it works. Okay guys, so that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you were able to actually follow it. And if you did manage to follow it, then please leave a like and um, subscribe if you want to.